Oh, hello YouTube, I'm Dr. 45 and welcome to my channel. So today I'm hanging out with Taco because I love Taco since she's my dog and I've had her for most of my life. And I really love her so much, I just want to spoil her as much as I can. Except there's just one problem, I don't really know how to spoil her. Like, there's, I know there's people who spoil their dogs and because they love so much, but I just don't know how to properly do it. I wish there was a way for me to fully know how I could treat my dog right. I know, I could watch that movie Beverly Hills Chihuahua. I could watch it with Taco too so we both know how I could spoil Taco better. Wow, that dog is really spoiled. Oh well, only the best for my Taco though. The only problem is I don't really have that much money, but of course I'll try to spoil her as much as I can. But before I do that, I think it's time for us to do a movie review. So Beverly Hills Chihuahua follows this spoiled Chihuahua named Chloe who is getting taken care of by her owner's niece for a little while while she's at a business trip. However, her niece, the owner's niece I should say, takes Chloe to Mexico for like a weekend trip with her friends. But Chloe ends up getting lost in Mexico and she tries to go end up and find Chloe while Chloe also tries to get away back to Beverly Hills to her home. So this movie does have a cute idea but of course it's still not the best movie because it is definitely a movie geared towards kids. And the whole premise of it is that these chihuahuas are talking, which you can kind of tell through the movie. But of course there is a story, but it just isn't that good of a story since it is more geared towards kids and just on about this adventure and little jokes and stuff. So it's a cute idea, but it's not the best necessarily. And the story in this movie is pretty predictable. Nothing really all that surprising happens. There's, I guess there could be some little surprises, but it's nothing really major that's like, Whoa, I didn't expect this. It's kind of all pretty predictable. But of course, the actors in it, some of them are alright. They do pretty good, Other, others don't. Because of course, George Lopez does voice a Chihuahua named Poppy in this movie. Who does do a pretty good job, of course, because he is a professional actor. But there are some other smaller actors that don't necessarily do their best in their roles. But of course, this is more of a movie that you just kind of put around in the background or well, if you want some kids to watch a movie, it's a good movie to put on, but it's not really meant a good one to just sit down and watch like, and take as seriously because it's just about these talking dogs and it's not like that story is all that complex, it's just that this dog gets lost and they have to go find her, essentially. So we give this movie our final rating of a 6.5 out of 10. It's not the best movie, it is of, of course, like, it has a decent story, it's a general story, just a different spin on like a dog getting lost and trying to find her and it's it's interesting but of course it's just not that really the best movie ever I would say but if you are interested in it then you could watch it just see what's about but it just isn't the best so 6.5 I think is a good rating for this movie. Now that I finished this movie review it's such a nice day outside I think I'm gonna give Taco a bath get her all ready and then we're gonna go out on the town just to get on a little walk so that we could show her off in her little, nice little outfit all cleaned up and just to show off to the other dogs so I, she knows that she's all spoiled and all the other dogs know that she's spoiled as well. So come on Taco, it's time to get you ready. It's such a beautiful day outside. I'm glad that I'm able to bathe Taco and get all ready well, for this walk. Taco, aren't you glad? Dang Taco, I just gave you a bath. 